Hello everyone. Happy Tuesday. Um, today, well, welcome to my channel, Anxiety Art Adventures. Whee! Uh, my name is Laura. Uh, for those of you new here, welcome. And um, for those of you that aren't new here, welcome back. Uh, anyway, today uh, I'm going to be doing something that I haven't done in a very long time. I am going to be coloring with colored pencils. And um, I'm going to be really honest with you. I haven't colored with colored pencils in probably, it's been at least probably eight months. Because um, I, I learned about markers and I swapped over to markers. And I really like markers. So um, I kind of stopped with the colored pencil. Um, a lot of the reason I haven't colored in colored pencil, and I haven't told you guys this, but... Uh, my eyesight has gotten pretty bad, and I need to go to an eye doctor, which I'm going to, I'm going to do that soon. Um, but it's hard for me to work on detailed pages with colored pencil due to that. So, uh, just FYI on that. But anyway, um, today I want to work in a book that I've had for many years, and it's a very unusual book. Um, it's called A Walk in Eden by Anders Nilsson. Uh, you can get this book on Amazon. I'll have it down below. It's very odd, but it's very cool. Um, and I'm pretty sure I have a flip through of this book on my channel. I probably should have looked at that before I started this video. Um, but I can, I can do a quick, quick flip if you want. Um, this book is not for everybody. It, it is, like I said, it's very unusual. It's a little weird, but it's, to me, it's, it's intriguing. So anyway, A Walk in Eden by Anders Nilsson. Uh, yeah. Um, it's a really nice thick cover, um, very thick paper. Now it is not, it, it's one-sided, two-sided, I'm sorry, two-sided. So there are images on each page. So you can't use markers in this book, or if you do, you're going to mess up the book, just so you know. So yeah. But it's just, it's really cool, like, futuristic, odd little things, like, like that. What is that in the page? It's like a faceless, handless, footless doll. <laughs> There's a tire. Um, okay, and this is the page I'm going to be working on. I'll get back to that in a minute. Um, a little sticky is not sticking. Yeah, that's just not going to stick. So, okay. Like I said, I'm just going to do a quick flip through so you guys can see um, what's on the pages. <coughs> Excuse me. But I like odd, strange things. And they take like, he takes like animals and, and foliage and things and then adds like a toy car, <laughs> you know, just odd, odd things. So it's, it's a really cool book. I really like it. Um, like this one, this one's like the middle of like a desert area. And then there's a phone and a printer sitting over here on the side. It's like, what? Yep. really neat stuff really like futuristic type you know geometric designs and things it's a really cool book really cool book so how is everybody's Tuesday I hope everybody's having a lovely day uh, today is actually Monday I'm recording this on Monday it's very rainy here, very cold. Um, oh yeah, and these are um, spread, so it's gonna be hard. This opens up to a, a big spread of a huge four-page spread. There's a dinosaur in the water. Um, I don't know if you guys can see all of that. very very odd but very cool <laughs> you 
You got a monkey riding on the back of an elephant. Yes. Does anybody have this book, A Walk in Eden? Has anyone seen this book? Um, I did show this book a couple years ago, and I actually sent a copy to Dee Dee Willingham, who actually, she did a page in this book. Um, so that was actually really cool. She's got that on her channel somewhere. But again, it was, it was many years ago. Um, I think it was in probably 20... 17, probably, 2018, <clears throat> back when I was really into the coloring. So, just some odds and ends. That's a, that's a neat book, though. I like it. Anything that's different... That's pretty. So yeah, what's everybody working on today? I need to work on my um, diamond painting, my Astral Guardian by Craftably. I mean, look at this. He's he's sitting on a on a phone, like a phone from a business, like a multi line phone. <laughs> okay, so this one, this is pretty cool. Uh, I did not color this. Uh, Sean colored this. This was the second coloring page that he ever colored. And he, I think, did a fabulous job for somebody that doesn't color and is very new to coloring. I think he did a great job. He picked out his own colors. He wanted it to be very, you know, bright. So I think he did a fabulous job with that. Um, and I think he used... I want to say he used Prismacolor on these because I bought him a set of Prismacolor pencils. Um, yeah, I think this is the one that Dee Dee did, I think. Pretty sure. So yeah, the paper in this book is phenomenal. It's very thick. Um, nice, you know, heavy white paper. Uh, you can use water-based um, products in this book. Like, you could use a water-based marker or Neo Colors, uh, watercolor pencils, anything like that. Uh, this is an underwater scene. You can see like the ducks, <laughs> the ducks under the water. They're half, you know, under the water. Kind of cool. But yeah, this is. This is like one of my favorite coloring books. Just because of how weird it is. I mean, it's not cutesy. It's not girly. I'm not a cutesy, girly person. Um, I mean, I have some of those books, but like that looks like a My Little Pony, but really weird because of the eye. This is strange. This is a baby sleeping in the midst of <laughs> animals. Uh, yep. Yeah. Strange, strange things. But yeah, I mean, I have some cutesy books, but not not a whole lot. I prefer books like this that are different, and you don't, you know, you don't see every day. That's a nice spread. Some monkeys, a gazelle, some of those weird doll things. That one, that's one of my favorites. So it's like a big tree. You see like the end of an airplane and then somebody just hanging out here with a car. Pretty cool. So yeah. Oh, and it's got a, a search and find in the back, so you can look for all these items um, in the back. So, yeah. That is a walk in Eden. So, let me get back to my page. Okay. So, what I did with this page is I took acrylic paint. And back when I did a lot of coloring, I was 
really big into using acrylic paint as a background. Acrylic paint on a background is awesome and you can use it on double sided pages. It does not go through to the other side. Um, so I usually buy the um, little Americana paint. Um, let me show you. Uh, little Americana paint. I like this one. Uh, little Americana paint. Um, you can get them at Walmart, you can get them at Michaels, you can get them at AC Moore, any craft store. And they're not too expensive. I want to say they're like, um, these are going to be a little bit more expensive than the other ones. These might be like $1.99 or two ninety nine a tube like this. Um, but one of these tubes will last you a while on doing a background. So, and I have, I have a shit ton of these y'all. And I don't know if they're still good. That's the other thing. Um, I don't know how long acrylic paint lasts. Um, I probably have like 50 of those little tubes and I don't know how long they last. I've had them for like probably four years or so. Um, so yeah, I have no idea. I'm going to have to test that and see or Google it, but, um, yeah. So anyway, so I do an acrylic paint for the background and then what I do, um, I'm going to zoom in so you can see this a little bit better. I go around cause I, it's hard to get into the little cracks like on the outside of the pages. Um, yeah, that's as far in as I can zoom you. Um, hold on. Let me autofocus real quick. Autofocus, autofocus. Okay. Um, then what I do is, like I said, it's hard to get a paintbrush in between all of these little areas. So what I do is I take a Prismacolor pencil, and that's because Prismacolor has the widest range of color, um, in my opinion, <clears throat> to match as closely as you can to the background of the acrylic paint. So I took a some color blue Prismacolor, and again, this was this was years ago. <laughs> and I just went around the outside. I'm gonna bring the camera down a little bit so you can see. So I just went around <clears throat> the outside, and you can see where the pencil is on the areas I didn't want to get too close with the acrylic paint. And it looks really cool, I think. It kind of gives it some depth around the outside of, of the object. So yeah, and I'm going to be working on this today. So we're going to work on that. So let me, let me move this down here. Okay. Yeah, we're going to be working on this little, this little thing here. Yes. So I'm going to be using... Um, Dermot Pro Color. I love Dermot Pro Color. This one is Cerise Pink and Magenta. <clears throat> now, <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to use the darker color uh, for the little spindly things that come out. And then I'm going to use the lighter color. Um, I'll probably use the darker color around the outside of these two. So. All right, just bear with me because I have not done this in so long, you guys. It's it's crazy. Crazy. Um, I just want to make sure that it focuses. I feel like it's fuzzy. Probably because it's so, so low. Can you focus? Okay, well. All right. That's okay. All right, and I'm going to give you guys puppy cam while we work so you can see blue. He's sleeping. <laughs> okay, this is the darker color. Okay, so here we go. Um, I really enjoy Pro Color by Derwent. These are my favorite pencils. Um, I'm a huge Derwent fan. I just, I personally like how they, how they feel and how they perform. They're awesome to shade with. <clears throat> but 
But yeah, this page I want to do a lot of like pinks and purples and greens. Just kind of make it, you know, pop a little bit. But yeah, acrylic paint, I love using acrylic paint on backgrounds. It's It really makes the picture just go bam. All blues trying to get comfortable back there. Uh, Kitty, let's not eat my book. <laughs> She's sitting at my bookcase, like, licking my books. That's not good. Um, yeah. Alright, so for those of you that are coloring, what are you coloring in? What are you using? What pencils? What What's your favorite pencil? Let me know in the comments below. What's your favorite uh, brand pencil that is your go-to? I usually either go with these, um, the Derwent um, Pro Color, or the um, uh, Faber Castell Polychromos. Now these are a little bit of a harder lead, um, which I like because that way you can work on you know some finer uh, detail. Um, Prismacolor, I have I'm heavy-handed, so Prismacolor tends to bloom for me, um, so I really have to watch it when I use them that I'm not pushing down too hard. But yeah. So last night I had my live. Um, I go live every Sunday night at 10 p.m. Eastern. And that was a lot of fun. Worked on my uh, diamond painting um, by Craftably. Um, and I accepted a goal, a challenge, I'm sorry, challenge. <clears throat> from crafting with Christy, so I'm gonna have that hopefully have that done by February 20th So I can give it to Sean put up in his apartment um, For those of you that are new here Sean is my best friend and He lived with us for a year and a half um, He moved here from Florida and Lived with us for a year and a half while he you know found a job and save some money and all that good stuff. Um, and now he's on his own. So yeah. So yeah, so I did my live last night, worked on that, but I started to get a headache last night. That's why I cut my live a little short. Um, I started, I could tell I was starting to get a really bad headache, so I wanted to get off the live and take some medicine so I did and I woke up this morning and I still have a little bit of a headache but it's nowhere near as bad as it was last night headaches have always been really bad for me um, I used to have to go and get shots for my headache um, I would actually get um, it's called Toradol and it's a non-narcotic pain reliever and uh, back in the day, um, you would go to the doctor's office and they would give you a shot in your butt. And my headaches were so bad. I mean, I would walk in. It was like a regular thing. I'd walk in and just drop trowel. <laughs> Be like, go for it. I'm usually very modest and very shy about, you know, my body and stuff. Um, no. When I have headaches like that, I'm just like, okay, I'm dropping my pants. Put the shot in my butt right now. <laughs> Because it hurts so bad, you know. Um, yeah, but they don't do that anymore. You can't get the shots in the doctor's office anymore. I think the only place I can get them is in the ER. Um, you can get Toradol in a pill form, um, but it's not. It doesn't take effect as quickly as a shot does. I mean, don't get me wrong. I hate when they go into the seam like this because I just I can't get in there so yeah that that sucks that that sucks I really don't like that when they go in the seam 
Um, yeah, so I used to have to take take shots for that. But now it seems like if I catch it early enough, um, I can catch it early enough with Excedrin and usually that'll, that'll work for me. But if I don't catch it early enough, I have to take the Excedrin and then I have to lay down with, um, with like a washcloth over my eyes and like dark room and yeah, all that good stuff. They used to make me really sick, like sick to my stomach. Like I'd have to keep a, a trash can next to my bed. It's horrible. Does anyone else get really bad migraines like that? I know there's prescription medication you can go on for it. Um, I just, I don't feel like I, I get them often enough to, to do that. So, okay. So I'm finished with the magenta. Y'all, I'm coloring with colored pencils. Woo! <laughs> Hold on, I'm taking a sip of coffee. Oh, look. Job is in her hut. Look up there. You can see her. She's cleaning herself, but she's actually in her hut, which is unusual. She doesn't usually get in her hut. So yeah, um, I am definitely not going to be finishing this picture, um, but I at least wanted to try using my pencils just to see see how I am with them. So far so good. I have missed using my colored pencils. I used to really enjoy coloring. A lot of you that have followed me for a long time know that. Um, I'm really big into Kirby Rosanna's and I used to uh, be a big fan. I still am a big fan of um, Bennett Klein. Um, I have all of his books. <laughs> He just, he hasn't put anything out recently um, that I know of. Now, to be honest, I haven't, I haven't really kept up with him. I'm still in his Facebook group, um, but I don't, I don't really get on Facebook much. I'm just, I'm not really a social media person. I am starting to use Instagram a little bit more. Um... I don't really use Twitter anymore. Um, and I noticed with Twitter, and tell me if anybody else notices this, the the art and diamond painting community, they just, you know, the coloring community, nobody really posts anything on Twitter. Twitter seems to be more for gaming, from what I can tell. Um, I don't know. That's just my opinion. I think I missed a pink spot right there. I mean, a blue spot. I think that's supposed to be blue. Hmm. All right. I'm going to leave that white because I'll, I can go over that and come back to that with some paint. If I can find the paint that I used. I'm pretty sure I know which color I used. I don't have a lot of blues. I think I've only got like three or four blues. Um, the favorite background I used acrylic paint with, I like using black. Um, black really makes um, pages pop when you use black acrylic paint. I really like using the black. I've done a lot of acrylic paint backgrounds in um, Magimorphia by Kirby Rosanna. Love that book. It's like one of my favorite books. One day I will finish it. I'm just putting down a little bit of a, a base coat of this pink right now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the darker 
color and go around the outside and try to blend a little bit with it. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Yeah. It looks a little fuzzy to me, doesn't it? Does that look fuzzy to you? I don't know. I put it on autofocus. Huh. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. But yeah, I want to finish that um, diamond painting. So I told Crafting with Christy that I would try and get that done by February 20th, which I should be able to do it by then. Hopefully. I'm kind of bummed. So I had ordered a, <clears throat> excuse me, I had ordered a canvas from Treasure Studios Art, like the first or second week of January, and then the whole coronavirus hit, and all of Treasure Studios Art's uh, canvases are made in China. Um, so it got delayed, obviously, and I'm okay with that. Um, there's, I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. And then I got an email yesterday, today. Look, there's another space right there I missed for blue. Um, saying that now they've pushed it out again um, until, like, the beginning of March. Because, I mean, just... It's just how it is, you know. They're trying to get everybody healthy in China and stop this this virus, which it's kind of scary. It's kind of scary. I've been reading, like, news articles about it, which um, I shouldn't do. Um, it's, not, it's not good to do that. Because all it's going to do is just scare you more. Um... Yeah, <clears throat> excuse me, I talked about it in my live last night. So we finally got our itinerary for Ireland. So we're going to be in Ireland in June. And I'm so excited because I'm only going to be, one of the places we're going is only an hour away from Rachel Ray. So um, I'm going to get to meet up with her for a little bit super excited so yeah we got our itinerary and um, getting all the tickets you know airfare and all that stuff worked out yeah I'm a little nervous because a I hate flying um, and that's gonna be a long flight <clears throat> but um, it's, it's totally going to be worth it. This is like a trip of a lifetime, um, to be able to go. This is one of the places I've always wanted to go. And my husband is from, his family is from Ireland. So, um, we're going to try really hard if we have time to actually go to the town that, um, the town actually used to be called by his last name. Um, I'm not going to say what it is, but, um, and it's not called that anymore, but way back in the day it was. So we, we might try to, if we have time, um, <clears throat> cause the tour we're going on, it's actually really neat. Um, we're going with the uh, the Richmond Symphony here in Richmond, Virginia. Um, my dad's on the board of the Richmond Symphony, and um, you know, my family's really big into music and arts, and um, we do a lot of charity work um, for for the music and arts um, here locally. So anyway, so the Richmond Symphony. 
um, is offering like, I think it was like 30, 30 people to go on this trip. So, uh, my dad was fortunate enough to have that opportunity and was so nice to ask Adam and I to go with him and my stepmom. I'm just, I'm over the moon about it. Um, every time I talk to him, I thank him like profusely. It's like, you know, I mean, Adam and I wanted to go, but it's, it's so expensive. I mean, you're talking between the airfare and the hotel and, you know, the tours and transportation, you know, it, it's easily going to be, I mean, it can easily get up to, for both of us, probably a $10,000 trip. And that's just, that's a lot of money. Um, and, you know, we just, it's not to say we don't have that, but it's like, I don't, I don't feel comfortable spending that much of our, you know, savings on that right now, just because we have, we have some other things that, <clears throat> that we need to take care of and, you know, just some other things. So, yeah. All right. So I'm trying to see. Yeah. I think that's white space and that's not. Okay. So now I've got the base down, just a, a light base of the pink. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the darker pink, the magenta, and I just slowly go around the outside in little circles. And this is no way, shape, or form any type of tutorial, you guys. This is, I'm just showing you what I do. And you're not really going to be able to <clears throat> see this until, until I start blending it with the lighter color. Sorry, I get quiet when I color because I'm focusing. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, so anyway, so yeah, Ireland. It's going to be awesome. Super excited. But like I said, I'm just not excited about the, the plane ride. Planes just scare the living shit out of me. Um, they always have. Uh, now I take the lighter color and I just... I kind of blend it into the outside. Um, yeah, planes scare the living shit out of me. I mean, you take somebody with anxiety and, you know, stick them on a plane. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, no. All right, so I don't know if you can see that really well. So, and I usually leave the center part like a little bit of a lighter color. So, like I don't fill in the center part as much just to give it like that. There's a little bit of light on that maybe, you know, something like that. So yeah, and again, nobody's going to come and be like, oh my gosh, you're doing that wrong, you know? Nobody's going to be coming in and judging your coloring book. So you should color however you want, however you like. Try different, try different techniques, different, you know, different things that interest you. Just try it.
you know. You do you, boo boo. <laughs> right? Right? You do you, boo boo. Yeah. Sorry, I had to throw that in there. <laughs> oh boy. coloring y'all. I'm coloring. But yeah. Who knows? Maybe, maybe I'll do this more often. I don't know. We'll see. Um, pencils also, I have um, arthritis in my hands. So pencils tend to hurt my hands um, a little bit more than markers do. Um, primarily because you have to, you, you know, you have to go back and shade and you're going to be spending a lot more time on the page with pencils than you would with markers. Cause markers, you just, you know, it's one and done, which is what I like about them. But at the same time, I also like pencils for, you know, the shading and the detail. I know you can shade with markers. Um, I, I can't get the hang of that. I tried not, it's, it's just not my, it's not my jam. So yeah, I tried. Didn't work for me, but I've seen lots of really cool, cool things with shading with, um, with markers. This looks kind of cool, y'all. I kind of missed this. All right, so did everybody have a lovely weekend? Did anybody do anything fun? Um, I went out with my dad and sister and um, had a little bit too much to drink Friday night and paid for it on Saturday. And then Sean came over Saturday and hung out with us and, um, yeah, I talked about that in my live, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna talk about that again. Um, yeah, and then yesterday, Sunday was like laundry and cleaning and, you know, sheets and and stuff. But yeah. Didn't do a whole lot yesterday, but I think Sunday should be like a down, a down day, you know? That's just my opinion. Or at least everybody should have like one day a week that they have a down day like a day just for themselves, just to do nothing or to do what you want to do, you know? I think that's important to have you time. Very, very important. This is cool. And I'm really, really, um, ghetto with my pencil sharpening so um, this is my favorite pencil sharpener it's a Stadler um, Stadler graphite it sharpens beautifully I don't have to turn it but like that and I'm already sharp again um, that's my favorite one this is um, I can't remember what that one is I don't use that one very often um, this one is a Kum, K-U-M. Um, it's got, you know, a big hole and a little hole. Uh, sorry, my computer needs air. And then this is my brass bullet. This one's very good as well. Um, I use this one a lot. But I like the little handheld, um, pencil sharpeners. 
And I just keep them in a little Tupperware container. Yeah. Yep, computer needs air. Look, are both of them? Yep, Kitty's still in the hut and Blue's sleeping. Do y'all like the animal cam? I thought it was a cute idea. Cute idea. Yeah, but colored pencils, I mean, the effect of colored pencils are obviously so much different than marker. Um, it just, it takes so much longer to do a colored pencil page than it does if you were using marker. Sorry, I get quiet. I'm sorry. <laughs> I do that a lot when I'm concentrating. Concentrating. All right, does anybody have the Pro Color pencils by Derwent? Let me know. Or do you have any Derwent pencils? Um, I also have the um, Color Soft and the Artist Edition and. Um, Ink tents and I think what else do I have? I'm trying to remember. Hmm. I don't know. I just did a pencil. I just did a pencil. Um. Showed you guys a lot of my pencils. I should remember this. You know, the joy of being old. Joy of being old. So yeah, Valentine's Day. Who celebrates that? Um, I said this last night and I'm going to say it again. I think Valentine's Day is actually a ridiculous holiday. This is my personal opinion, so I don't, I don't need, I don't need hateful comments. Um, I don't need one day of the year for my spouse, significant other, partner, whatever, to, to tell me that they love me more than any other day of the year. I mean, I just, I think that's just ridiculous. And on top of that, it's, it's a ploy for, you know, companies to totally just price gouge the shit out of candy and, you know, little stuffed animals, anything red or pink, you know, I just, I think it's so just dumb. I think it's dumb. Um, I, I honestly feel not as strongly, but I feel the same way about Christmas. Like Christmas, this should not be about the gifts. Um, Christmas should be about spending time with your family and friends and recognizing Christmas for what it is. Um, but it seems like all the holidays now are so focused around people spending money and buying things and I just, I just don't agree with it. That's just me. So my husband and I, we do not celebrate Valentine's Day. Um, we both feel the same way about it and yeah, we just, we just don't. That's how it is. I am a-okay with that. Um, yeah. And we don't really celebrate, we don't buy anything for each other for, you know, our birthdays or anything because, and I might have touched on this before in another video. I don't remember if I did. I'm sorry. Um, we keep everything separate, our money, uh, just because I was burned really badly before in, um, my previous marriage. And, um, so we keep everything separate. And honestly, if I want something, I buy it. If he wants something, he buys it. I mean, within reason. I'm not going to go out and buy, like, you know, a house. <laughs> you 
you know. Um, I will say, if I want to buy a new car, I just go buy a new car. I don't, I don't ask him or tell him, you know, I just, I go buy a new car, come home with a new car. That's, and I know that's not what a lot of people do, and I get it. Um, that's just, that's what we do. So, we don't celebrate birthdays and stuff, because typically, if there's something that we want, we just, we just buy it. So, um... You know, that's just how it is. Um, we've never really been one with the material, materialistic items for each other. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, I think the most materialistic items we've gotten for each other are, um, like, my wedding ring. He got me that, obviously. Uh, my band is, was my grandmother's, so um, I had that reset to match but I'd say the ring and the house I mean which we bought together so I mean we're just not we're just not like that I don't know um yeah <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say but yeah holidays right so Christmas we don't buy anything for each other for Christmas um I I buy things for my family and I especially like to buy things for my nephews. Um, so a lot of my money goes towards them on Christmas. Um, and Adam buys for his family. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what we do. Um, like for our anniversary, our anniversary actually is coming up. Wow. The end of this month, on February 27th, we'll be married 10 years. Wow, didn't think I'd make it that long, you know? Um, or I didn't think he'd make it that long either. I, I can be difficult to live with. I can be difficult to live with. Just because I'm very, I'm very stubborn. I want things done my way. I'm very independent. Um... I'm always right, you know, you know how it goes. <laughs> so yeah, that can that can cause things to be a little, little difficult. But it's all right. Adam is is the opposite of me. He's very, I am very like in your face, tell you how it is, very blunt. Um, I get overly excited about things that I feel really strongly about. Um, his term is, I get a little overdramatic. Um, but Adam is very like even keeled. He's not an emotional, that's the word I was looking for. I'm, I'm a little emotional when it comes to certain things. He's not overly emotional about things. So we actually balance each other out quite well i think um it's a good a good balance uh, between the two of us and adam is actually and i might have said this before too in another video i don't i don't know what i say in videos adam is the first person that i have met and been with like in a relationship that trusts me 100% and lets me do, I say let, I mean, come on, nobody lets me do anything, but it doesn't have a problem with me doing whatever I want to do. Like if I say, hey, I'm going out, going out with my friends, I'll be back, you know, later, I'll text you on my way home. He doesn't question, he doesn't, you know, I mean, I'll tell him where I'm going and if anything changes, I'll let him know, but... He doesn't sit there and grill me about who I'm going with, blah, blah, blah. You know, he doesn't get, like, possessive about it. You know, he's just very, okay, cool, have fun, you know, have a good time. And honestly, that's that's how it should be, you know. That's how it should be. But I, I guess I picked really bad people to hang out with or be in relationships with because... Pretty much anyone I dated, they were like, 
where are you going? Who are you going with? You know, what are you doing? When will you be back? Can I meet you out there? I'm like, no, no, I want to go out, you know, without you. So, yeah, it's, it's cool to be in a relationship with somebody that, you know, doesn't have a problem with that kind of stuff and trust you and, you know, it's very different. It's a good different, believe me, it's a good different. Good different. So yeah. Like perfect example, like if Sean wants to, you know, cook me dinner at his apartment, I'll just be like, hey, I'm going to Sean. I mean, Adam doesn't have a problem with that. Because Adam and Sean are friends. Um, obviously, Sean and I are, are better friends than he and Adam. Um, but, you know, he doesn't care. He knows where Sean lives. I mean, it's not far. And he doesn't care. You know? It's just... I think that's healthy. You know? And it's like, I have lots of friends that are, that are guys and it's not a problem, you know? And the only reason it would be a problem is because that person doesn't trust you. Um, and that's, that leads to other problems. So, yeah. Yeah. This is actually quite enjoyable. My hand is starting to hurt a little bit just because I'm pressing harder than I should, but actually using pencil. See, y'all didn't think I was ever going to use pencil again. Oh, proved you wrong, didn't I? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I think tonight we're going to have really in the mood for some waffles. We have a nice waffle maker. Adam puts peanut butter on his waffles. I think that's disgusting. Um, mine has to have like a shit ton of butter. And if we have whipped cream, I'll put a little bit of whipped cream on the top. Um, maybe some jam. I like blackberry jam. So I might put some blackberry jam on it too. So good. So good. So yeah. I think that's what we're going to do for Din Din tonight. This is turning out kind of purdy. Kind of purdy, y'all. Yeah. Oh, okay. Y'all like my nails for Valentine's Day? <laughs> Even though I don't celebrate Valentine's Day, I figured I'd wear something pink. Um, this is Positively Pink by Color Street. Love Color Street. Um, if any of you haven't tried Color Street, you should. I have Kim's information down below. She will be happy to send you a free sample so you can try it and see if it's something that you would like to do. Um... But, I mean, you can't pass up a free sample, right? It's so easy to take on and off, and it's just... And it's really helped my nails. My nails were in such bad shape, you guys. They were, like, yellow and, ugh, from all the nail polish. Um, yeah, love Color Street. Sorry, I got quiet again. <laughs> I do. I get quiet while I'm coloring because, you know, concentrating, concentrating. All right. Does anyone else's hands hurt when they, when they color or is it just me? I know it's not just me.
I just, I have a problem with, I'm, I'm getting better about it, about seeing white space on a page. It used to drive me crazy. I used to not be able to handle seeing any white space on the page. I'm a lot better about it now. A lot better about it now. Now I can, like, I'm okay with seeing that white space there, you know? I feel like there's too much white space in this one, though. That's a little bit better. I do like these two colors together. It's interesting. I didn't think they really go that well, but they do. Ooh, sip of coffee time. Sip of coffee. Hmm. All right. So who's as excited as I am about Kirby's new book coming out? Ugh, this is when I wish I lived in the UK. You know? Because they already have it. I think we have to wait until... I think it's the middle of March. I was so excited, y'all. I think I told you guys this. I was like, wee! Because Kirby put, you know, was <clears throat> promoting his book on Instagram. And I was like, oh my gosh. I, I, I put a comment saying, I can't wait till the book comes out in March. With all these hearts around it. And he hearted my reply. He actually looked at my reply. I know that's dumb as shit, but I don't know. I think it's cool. I think it's cool when artists actually, you know, interact with with their um with their fans you know like it, Kirby doesn't seem to have that oh I'm an artist so I'm a stuck up bitch type attitude you know what I mean like he actually he actually does things um and interacts with his viewers and stuff people that appreciate his art so I think that's cool Yeah, I'm a huge fan of his. So I think I am going to buy like, I think I figured out I'm probably going to buy like four or five copies of his new book. Um, so I can have one to color in, one to keep. Just, I, I always keep a copy of his book and don't color in it just to have for the artwork. Um, and then one to give to Sean and then I'm going to have one as a giveaway. For when I reach the 3,000 subscribers, y'all. Which is going to be soon, I hope. I think I'm at like 36. I'm sorry, 2,600. Yes, fantastic. Never thought I would get that many subscribers. It's awesome. All of you are awesome. We're sitting here and watching me do these kind of things. Um, I don't know. I never, I never thought, I, I never thought I would still be on YouTube, to be honest with you. Like, yeah, I took a break. Um, I took a long break because there was some drama and I went back to doing, um, getting into my video games. Um, but I kept missing doing art and like, not doing art, but like coloring and, you know, and there were certain people that I missed, um, that I interacted with on a pretty regular basis while I was on YouTube. So, yeah. And the cool thing was, it's like, when I came back to YouTube and I, I started contacting these those people that, you know, that I missed quite a bit. It was like no time had passed. Like you ever have those friends where it's like you can not talk to them for a year and then you message them or call them and it's like, it's like you just pick right back up where you left off. It's, it's amazing. So 
that's that's a real friend in my opinion somebody you can just even if you don't talk to them on a regular basis you can just pick it right back up it's awesome I'm truly grateful for that um, and and those people know who they are I'm not gonna name them but they know who they are and I I talk to them on a you know pretty regular basis now and I'm happy about that I think I missed the you know the interaction as well um, I did have interaction with you know my gaming friends and but it's a different it's on a different level like I, I do have good friends um, in my gaming community but it's like our interests are different like like they don't they don't really care about me doing this in fact a lot of them don't know that I do this some of them do um, and some of them you know come in and check out my lives and watch my videos but some of them I don't even I don't even tell that I do this too because I know it's not their thing you know um, and that's cool you know it's nice to have friends with different interests just making these stalks a little bit darker I feel like they need to have the darker color in them Yeah. I mean, I do still game. I don't game as much as I used to. But, um, I do still, you know, play my game. I try to pick, like, one night a week where I can just sit and, you know, play my game one or two nights a week with my gaming friends. Um, and that's fun way different than you know doing it every day every night you know like we were we were hardcore in it hardcore I mean it was fun but it's like you get burnout just like you do on anything else that you do too much of um, for too long you're gonna get burnout from it and that that's what happened I got burnt out from it. Yeah. This has actually been really cool. I'm glad that I decided to do this. I wasn't going to do this because I was like, I'm nervous. I haven't picked up my colored pencils in a really long time. I don't know how I'm going to color. You know yada yada I was really really nervous you guys look my computer needs air again sorry this laptop is great it's it's a gaming laptop um, but it definitely uses the fan quite a bit And it's a good thing it uses the fan because it's got it's got a really good graphics card in it, so it needs to keep that fan cool. I don't need that to blow up. No, no, none of that. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back through and maybe I'll start doing some acrylic paint backgrounds again. I know I still have some backgrounds I need to do in um in some of Kirby's books. So yeah. Maybe I can actually try to finish Imagine Morphia before I'm dead. That would be <laughs> That would be awesome, wouldn't it? Puppy, where are you going, puppy? All right, see you later. Probably going to get some food or some water. Kitty's still crashed out in her hut, though. 
And this is what they do pretty much all day. They just sleep. <laughs> but they're older, so, I mean, gosh, when they were younger, oh my gosh. Job of the Hut when she was younger was crazy. Crazy. I mean, would just run around the house, destroy things, knock things over, you know, things that a young cat does. Because I rescued her when she was, we think she was about a year old, um, which is still young for a cat. But man, she was, she was just a terror. Terror. Like, you'd be almost asleep, and then all of a sudden you hear her just tearing through the house, jumping on things, knocking things down. It's like, good lord, cat. And the dogs were the same way. I mean, Blue was a puppy when I rescued him, and Bella was about a year old, we think. And they always wanted to play and, you know, run around, and now it's like, they just want to sleep. That's what happens when you get old, right? Just want to sleep. Did you get your water shook? I hear you coming back down. Puppy? I don't know where he went. He might have gone into the bedroom. He likes to sleep on the bed. He can only sleep on the bed when Adam's not here because Adam doesn't let him on the bed. So, he knows that, and he goes and sleeps on the bed, and then when Adam gets home, I'll like go in there and be like, get off the bed, hurry up, and he'll run over into his little bed up here in the room with me and pretend like nothing ever happened. It's funny. It's a great game we play. It's pretty funny. All right. I'm just making the stalks a little bit darker at the bottom. And I just use the pencil and just flick, flick the color up. Um, the reason I do that is it avoids you from seeing any pencil lines if you just click up. Here goes my computer again. Cool. All right, so these two white spots, I just need to touch up with acrylic paint because I don't think they were part of, it doesn't look like they were part of any of the flowers or anything. So yeah. So there we go. Did some coloring with you all. Did a little color and chat. Used my pencils for the first time in a long time and it was quite fun quite fun so there we have it I'm gonna zoom back out for you Whew. you can see the full page let's see uh, let me take puppy cam off because, you yeah, know. There we go. So there it is. I think I think this will look good with like pinks and um, purples, and I'll probably make the the unicorn and the giraffe like unusual colors, not normal colors. I mean, you gotta have some pink, right, in a unicorn. You have to. So anyway. So yeah, so that is um, A Walk in Eden by Anders Nilsson. So thank you all for watching and make sure that if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and the bell and you'll be notified whenever I do a video. Um, I do do videos 
normally uh, Tuesdays are coloring videos and Thursdays are diamond painting videos either diamond paint whip and chat or unboxings of diamond painting and then Sundays are my lives and then sometimes in between one day I'll just do a random video so make sure you hit that bell so you're notified and I have all of uh, my contact information down below in the description you can find me on Instagram you can email me um, I've got my PO box down there if you want to send happy mail don't have to don't feel obligated at all um, yeah so all that information is down below and I will have the link for this book in the description so again thank you guys so much for hanging out and I enjoyed using colored pencils for the first time in a long time so yeah all right well remember always to smile more than you cry give more than you take and love more than you hate bye guys